Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have a BMW guys X5 with a six cylinder gasoline engine, guys, I'm talking about engine N52, N53, N54, or N55, guys, and you're trying to find where your crankshaft position sensor is located, stay with us and we'll explain that today, guys. Now, we'll demonstrate on N52 engine that actually is in a BMW 3 series, but the same engine N52, six cylinder gasoline engines you can find in 3 series, 5 series, X1, X3, X5, guys, in the US and in Europe you can find it even in 6 and 7 series guys why we're we making this video because many of you ask me where is the crankshaft position sensor on a BMW X5 with a six cylinder engine it's really hard to get to it's really hard to know it's there guys that's why we're making the video before we start every single car we get at the shop we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information to you guys Guys, now if you need to buy a new crankshaft position sensor parts or tools for your BMW X5 check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from so specifically guys okay right here what we have N52 engine on the X5 you will notice that your uh, upper engine cover may be different color black but actually guys it's the same engine the position of the sensor will be exactly the same now, before we start guys, you need to remove your intake manifold. For any of you that no, don't know how to do that, we'll try to put the link in the description of the video below. You can see where, okay, uh, you, you can see how to remove the intake manifold. It's not too complicated, but it's time consuming. Uh, number two, okay, when you remove your intake manifold, always guys put intake manifold gasket, new gasket here, because it's not very expensive, but actually that's a, a weak spot on higher mileage engines, because that gasket, okay, get really flat and you can develop a vacuum leak. Two simple mistakes people make. When removing the intake manifold, you have to disconnect your car battery. You will be really close to your engine starter wire here, positive wire coming from the battery, and one goes to the alternator. And if you guys don't disconnect the car battery, you, short, you can short things out, get your car on fire. Uh, you can guys burn electric modules, computers, quite a few things, guys. And mistake number two, people guys don't know that it matters which car, uh, car battery terminal you disconnect first and which one you reconnect first. For any of you that want to know more about that, we'll put the link in the description of the video below. Now, uh, with that being said, guys, once you remove the intake manifold, let us show you guys what we have here. If you come right here, right under your engine starter this is your engine starter right underneath it you have one wire guys this is where your crankshaft position sensor is located super weird location guys if you have problems with it make sure the wires is not loose there is one clip that you need to spread open on the other side with a we usually pry it with a screwdriver we pre-loosen ours but that's okay that's uh, the wire right here that's the tooth you can see and the sensor okay it's down there guys now usually you, you will have sand dust dirt oil leaks here so always guys clean that area before you actually guys okay before uh, you uh, remove that sensor because all that dust and dirt will end up in the engine next we're going to need a reverse torque socket okay let me focus quick that's what it looks like okay this is the socket guys and uh, this is a e12 we'll put the link in the description of the video below and we'll go ahead and remove the crankshaft position sensor now not too too complicated guys so let's see if we can do that now okay ball is about to come out perfect okay now that sensor may be stuck you may need to pry it a little bit with a screwdriver but careful not to break it inside your engine guys <coughs> because there is one o-ring that gets stuck there and that o-ring needs to be replaced every time okay it came out guys this is it this is the sensor this is the crankshaft position sensor right here that's what it looks like put new ring because that's an easy place to develop an o-ring guys uh, hopefully the video will be helpful for any of you having a problem with the BMW X5 not starting correctly or starting super slow or not starting at all. It could be that sensor, guys. Check the wire. Uh, you can even test those sensors. We have a video how to. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to your channel for more videos and see you guys next time. 